All right, Dan, here we go. Let me show you what I did for the rest of it. This would be the math curve and the, the timing, and all that good stuff. So, here we go into our tables. Actually, we'll start with the math. Into the functions, error math transfer. Of course, this is binary editor. Well, this would be where you find it here. But since we're not using binary editor, it's just to show you. But we're going here, same thing. Go to functions on your math sensor or math transfer, I'm sorry. There's your math transfer. This is already the one that you're running right now. So how I establish that. What you said was a 24 pound pro M. So all I did up here you got all the different choices of ones that are known math curves so you just take all these numbers here you got 30 points voltage on the left and kilograms an hour on the right so we just took those and they go in here here's your voltage all the way up 16 volts and your flow so that's the math transfer that you have that you said works out really good. So now I'll show you what we did in the timing area. Since I can't figure out in CalEdit how to make it look at just the base and the sea level spark timing as I do in binary editor. You go here, spark table base sea level. There you go. These are all the numbers that are already in there, and since you are running aluminum heads to my iron heads, even though I run a very aggressive timing table, all I did is I took mine, this is for our C level, this is the base, just to call, you got your different RPMs, you got your loads, same here. This is your loads, this is your RPM. So I just basically just copied it over. However, CalEdit doesn't let you copy and paste like Binary Editor does, so it's all put in one by one. So that's that. We'll go back to functions now. We're gonna find your spark wide open versus RPM. Spark versus C level. Uh, we gotta find it first. That's ACT neutral. There you go. Wide open throttle spark advance versus RPM. This once again. This is where whoever dyno tune that thing before and the only thing that they changed in the tuning was spark all they did was take it from 3500 up and locked it at 32 degrees so once again because I don't have any hands on with your car obviously what I've done is I use mine again figure if I can get away with mine on iron heads and 87 octane you can easily do that on your aluminum heads so that's what you have right now now for anybody else you're only gonna get your spark timing down or your fine-tuned one time at the track time on the dyno and time on the street and just playing around with it that's the only way you're ever gonna get it that's how mine has been developed. A lot of time at the track, a lot of time on the dyno, and definitely a lot of driving it around back and forth to work 85 miles. So, and you'll notice here in the 4000, which is where it goes, it uses anything above 4000, that's where you're looking. Um, you'll notice it's all 26.5. What I was finding out is I was having issues at tip-in. So when I shifted, when I'd get back into the gas, it would rattle. So I played around with a lot of different values in here, and this is what it ended up working. 
I didn't get rattle. That uh, was where I pulled best crap speeds in it. So, everything else, all this high load stuff, this is all by going down the road. Depending on the RPM, it would be either fourth gear or fifth gear. I'm just lugging it. And I get it to around these around these RPMs and wrap the throttle. And listen for listen for knocking or pinging. Rattles, whatever you want to call it. And just keep pulling it back. And then like I said through much much driving it around back and forth and making sure it never got into the detonation. So that's what I got for that. And I said this is where you need to be careful though. But take time. It's all good. <laughs>